Okay. Where are we going now? We're going all the way up here. Oh, these are just some markers I left. Okay, let's go up there. Push all the people around. Ooh, excuse me. There's a sword guy up here. Maybe he's got some money now. Let's go ahead and see if we can sell him anything. Need something sharpened, reforged. Uh, let's see which peddling. What do you have on offer? He's only got 69. <laughs> nope. <laughs> do we need any repairing? A wee bit. A wee bit. Sure. Okay. Farewell. So long. You should recharge. There's also another swordsmith where we're going up here. This way? Okay, so we're going right in there. The smith I marked, I think, is this guy up here. So we'll go after the there afterwards and sell those few swords we've got. Oh, right in here, Rosalek. Uh oh. Looks like some bandits have been in here, or still in. Rosalek, you ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city, but I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger it off. looks just like that Feeding swordsmith I just come, came from. Ah, uh, can't let you steal from him. I just want some placards. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall If you were an NPC permission. in this town, what would your Get name or title be? <laughs> oh god. Oh. It's a fist fight. You regret this, mutant. Shut up and fight. Gave him a good pounding. Ooh, we got one in on me. There we go. Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vehicle but a state. Losing his last crowns at the races. See? Wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Okay, so we, I guess we leave these guys here. And we go off. Can we rob the guy? <laughs> Nobody robs him but me. So, off to the races. Is he going to be way down there? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so, let's go to this signpost here. Oh, we wanted to go to this... Um... Oh, <laughs> Excuse me. This other smith. And see if we can sell those swords. He's a weapon smith. Yeah, welcome to See if my he's workshop. got some money. Sturdy craftsmanship at a reasonable price. Show me your wares. Show me I want a good card off him too. That dragon close combat one. Plus one forty. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I've got the wrong sword so out. So long. Was I fighting with that wooden sword? <laughs> I've got the blunt sword. Oh my god. It switched when I got that prop sword. I was wondering, like, why are these so much better? Okay, that's the griffin. Pretty sure we were doing the griffin ones. We still got the griffin up here. 
<laughs> God, I'm glad we didn't get into a serious fight. <clears throat> that would have been terribly. You'd probably be a cat peddler or <laughs> something. I'd be uh, the shady individual. That's probably what I'd be. Okay, now we're good. We just don't want to sell these green ones. And that, one of these, we actually have to hold on to, right? For a quest. We already had one before, too. Okay. Yeah, welcome to my workshop. Stood. Show me what you have on offer. I'm glad I didn't get a fight with some mythical beast uh, with my blunt weapon. Oh, man, we can't get rid of these because they're worth too much. I mean, we can, but uh, he doesn't have the coin for it. <laughs> hey, kids, want to buy some skooma? <laughs> right? That's the wrong game. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make some big money when we sell these. 468, 907. 356, but we got to actually find a guy who's got that kind of coin. Yeah, we do. Oh, and you know what? At, next time we're at Dandelions, we got to dump off our old cat gear. Okay. So long. We should join in the posse in Red Dead Redemption 2 online and do some jobs. Yeah, I just... I haven't, um really uh, gone too far into that game at all. I'm still in like the beginning tutorial things in the uh, in the beginning of the campaign one. So I gotta get my chops a little bit in there before I can do anything. Alright, so we got this here. We're just gonna go ahead and fast travel to the races. We've been there several times now. Two over here. The Vagelbud residence. Khajiit is innocent of this crime. Exactly. Okay, let's make it daytime too. Oh, it is daytime. Let's see if we can get rid of the rain. It's always raining. We've actually looked to see if we could turn off the weather effects in here, and I haven't seen where that would be. But that's nicer. Okay, apparently he's over here. Let's see if it actually makes me do races again. Well, Rotlek, seems you're a there he is. You, Rotlek. Henri Rotlek. Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At debtor. Your service. <laughs> That's part of Dead his... sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. I already I helped I you with that. Into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Mm, guess we gotta win a race What's for him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. I can just pay his debt. Or. Win the race for him. Let's just pay him. We've been in a bunch of horse races already. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. If you got Red Dead May Redemption 2, you'd probably just uh, hunt all the time. City. Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time yep. to time. Some people love to play that game now. that way. Just forget all the quests and just the be a free agent. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. You played the single player and started an online today. And that's your plan too? Is to roam around the open world? Yeah, I mean, you can just fully take advantage of the open world in there. 
Seems pretty cool. Alright, where is that signpost? Behind me. As soon as we finish up all these quests in town, we're going to do some countryside roaming here. We've got a whole swath of question marks. I was thinking we could do a little roaming. Well, there's these. But then there's this whole... We can do a whole bunch of cleanup. Okay, but for now, we want to get over here. Yeah, I've been meaning to launch into the single player one of these days. So many games to play. Wild hunt to take you all. And let's not forget to dump our Witcher gear here. Oh my, things are livening up here. Some choreography has been happening. Clearly. Okay, so we wanted to stash that, stash that. Stash all this. Okay, I think we're good. That was the Viper Swords. Feline one. Viper and Feline. That's all our cat school gear. Oh, we could actually use this now, but now it's minus two. Not a lot of good to us. That we can use now. Although I never really switch <laughs> on that stuff. I don't use the crossbow much at all. I guess we might as well carry it around. This we could probably actually just sell right now. Okay. We did that. Step to the left, step to the right. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. <laughs> what about Rotlick? Did you? I'm wondering what a, whatever I said. Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. If he uh, Great. was not liked the it. Best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Okay, when's the grand opening? Yeah, and apparently it's not the Rosemary in Time anymore. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems and? my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Sure. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And she say anything about me? She's all about you, buddy. She said you're fat and you smell. <laughs> I should say that. <laughs> no, she praised your rationality, believe it or not. Never turned she down a free drink. Something that made me think she's not. And in the books, normal. the Witcher doesn't seem what? to generally either. He's usually that you're down. Responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. <laughs> He's bewildered. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Dandelion. <laughs> who, who you've always been. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. Away. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion, 
Priscilla, she's... Uh-oh. What? Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Oh, God. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. <clears throat> oh, my. Come, but you are a relative? R relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Yeah, Dandelion, ouch. Correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. I wonder if it was those bandits Enough in the alley. The what are her injuries besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Oh, they were trying to take her voice. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. Ooh. I know a I burn a about a burn. times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. Yeah, that is truly horrible. Astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike <laughs> preventive <you>. medicine. <laughs> Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through very the sewers. Very helpful, doctor. The sewers. Travel them often, doctor. As no, but I do. Required for uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments, aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Yeah, he's got that nice leather tunic on, doesn't he? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ready and intrigued. So I'll interesting. Who would do that? The Priscilla sounds Even like a jealous competitor, really. Thanks. Jealous of her voice. Hopefully, she won't lose her ability to sing, or maybe we'll be off for some magical elixir to uh, restore her vocal so, cords. Preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I hear that. I've oh, been hearing so. it for a while. Draw your weapon. So we got someone to fight there, but we, you know what? We don't even have this quest selected at this point. And is it in here anymore? We had this new one. But... I mean, obviously we're following him. But sort of questlessly. Oh, here we are. Carnal sins now. Okay. All right, he's got his crossbow loaded. Excellent fool. And we got some slight guys coming here. Come on, come close. Uh, I'm gonna be a little cautious because we just turned the difficulty up. Oh, 
Okay. Camera was being a little weird because we're in a kind of enclosed space, but uh, still good. What's the matter? Oh, good. Okay, we got that water hag. Ooh, got the mud. That's what I was trying to do. Get it down a little bit. Have it again. Okay. It looks like we got another one up there. I should be using my Witcher senses to look for loot and walls and stuff. Drowners, you don't seem to be able to parry without getting stunned. <coughs> Excuse me. Lost it. I kill one, another takes its place. I know how you feel, believe me. Mm-hmm. I certainly do. I'm about to sneeze, guys. Excuse me. All right, off to avenge Priscilla. Up. Yes, it's not far now. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. That's what I was Surely talking you about. you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz, enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Allergic to water hags and <laughs> drowners. <laughs> yep. Come on, man. Let's go. Maybe I'm allergic to sewers. Guys, slow. It's being cautious. Trying. This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Oh, these were my lines. <laughs> Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Wait, I seek loot first. Dwarven woodcarver. All these books in the sewer. Strange place to keep them. I guess we're not technically in the sewer anymore. We're in the morgue. All right. Are you a dwarven woodcarver? Looks like necrophage has got to this one. Okay. What about you? Human. Wrong body type. Let's keep looking. All right. Are there more bodies somewhere? Lots of doors. And someone's keeping their beer down here. Lots of beer. Okay, let's look in here. You don't look like the right kind. Doesn't look very dwarven at all. Have you heard about any of the other games you play that 
constriction game you play? Constriction game? You mean construction? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. The, um... Satisfactory? Or Planet Zoo? Both of those. Um... Satisfactory actually has had a bunch of updates since I played it last. It would actually be pretty interesting to get in there and see what's going on with that. Uh, Planet Zoo, I got a little frustrated with. Um, the construction's a little difficult. You really have to get to know the game to be able to do it. There was a bunch of difficulties I had. Um, but it's doable. But the game itself are really is really annoying. That's gotta be him. This as far as the animals go. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Let's keep looking. Um, they put a lot of the false hands, difficulties in there. The I guess uh, bankers more likely to keep you engaged. But like the animals are always fighting. They're always starving. No yeah, matter how many fingers, zookeepers you have. In the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. The visitors well. are always vandalizing. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> Let's look at his head. But it's still, you can Hair still build like some beautiful burnt, things in there. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Lovely. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Okay. Oh, we could still do the head. There's Let's more. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? The battle pirate game you were playing. Did you mean, uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada? <laughs> oh, Raleigh! What's up, man? Subscribe for five months, you crazy man. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Ouchie. Just like Priscilla's. Atlas? <laughs> ah, um, Atlas, I have not heard any new news. Have you, Raleigh? As far as I know, they haven't done anything yet. See this incision made into the voice box. Indeed. They got diverted, so porting it to the Xbox. To be unnoticeable. But it's possible stuff happened. That I didn't know about it. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. Nothing new at all, jerks. The murderer... <laughs> right. I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Ooh, okay. Got this full or or autopsy going on here. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage. No, not the Atlas. Scar, the length of this his is stomach. single player. Single player battle pirate game. Um. Hmm. Not sure which one you're talking about. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Meantime, the autopsy proceeds. Nice squishy sounds. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. 
So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Interesting. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An okay, incision. this part kind of goes on the here. The are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Where my first town nearly burned down. Huh, I'm sure I know what you're talking about. Battle pirate game where my first town nearly burned down. Dang that Freddy the Frog, right? <laughs> that serial amphibious murderer. Okay, so open his abdomen. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait... Smells not rot. Anybody know what game that is? Formaldehyde. Battle pirate game when my first novelty. town nearly burned down. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving <laughs> organic tissue in strong Well, Kermit proportions. can't produce eggs it's himself either, but he might have friends who explains do. Explains why there's no smell of decay and why his throat scalded. Okay. Wow, they're really making this go through this play by play. All right, and that was only the head and torso. We still have the hands, legs, and genitals to go. Hands. These welts. <laughs> Rope burns, right? <sighs> it was tied up. Just give me my clue. I'd expect so. And let no me proceed. One could through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience. First, they'd pick the autopsy yes, to be the most immersive Spent about. a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Pigs don't story. pay eggs. Some other time, maybe. Don't lay eggs. See the right? curse? Our dwarf war. Maybe, maybe he's messing around. You never him. know. A little slimy side fun. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies. We surgeons. We've a different sensibility. They're used to mm -hmm. this stuff. And a different sense of humor. Alright, last one. Not genitals. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers. <laughs> How dare you besmirch shit. Kermit's name? Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Okay, we know enough. I wouldn't have smirched his name. I sang the Rainbow right. Connection every day on the way to enough. school in the fifth grade. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what <clears> this <throat> is about. What the motive might have been. Uh, this was a ritual murder. This was punishment. No motive. Murder is mad. Rather not share my conclusion. I'm going to say it was punishment. I guess I get to choose. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well. Speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. I figured it was um, punishment because that's what it seemed like for Priscilla. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You Is it the 18-something game? They're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. You guys have a Show bigger puzzle going on for me than the As this game does. Wishes. Eighteen something. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. 
Oh, Why'd Anno 1800. I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I very much do want to get to Anno 1800 again. That one was fun. We were at a really good point um, in the playthrough we'd started, too. I kind of feel like we'd need to start from scratch again. It's a very busy game. A lot to keep up with in it. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. The doctor has an arrow you? stuck in his hand? Thus I avoid you. I've said enough on the subject. I won't press you? Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Okay. <laughs> What's a little foreboding? I gave crazy names to my towns. Yeah. Um, so that's a really good game, actually. And I have actually, yeah, really have been close to starting that one up again on a stream. Uh, we probably will before I'm done. I just, I have to brush up again at this point because it was kind of an intense, complicated game and I've been away from it long enough. I'd need to relearn all the key bindings and everything like that. Now this one here now, back here in The Witcher, this is really broadening, man. This is like, we've got to uh, investigate the alley where Priscilla was attacked using my Witcher senses, examine the place where the woodcarver died using your Witcher senses, and find Eustace, the corpse collector. So, O'Reilly, how are you doing, man? I saw you're getting back to work with the recording and stuff. Does that mean you're settled in at this point? Ready to play games? Gotta name things funny. I named my new infected puppy in Warframe Groot. <laughs> infected puppy? Mmm, lovely. Gotta get me an infected puppy. Alright, what's the closest one here? So we gotta finish this, because uh, we, gotta, we gotta help Priscilla. Um, but yeah, this has really opened up. And we thought we were just gonna have fun doing a play all the dancing girls but no no instead it's macabre murders oh my god okay so this is is this the alley where she was attacked or is this where the woodcarver died I'm trying to use my witcher senses it's quite dark here let's go ahead and make it brighter for you guys. Both? Maybe. Poor Lydica. Just last even tide for her going to the well. Damn, which are sensing well, around? Best stay home after Something bad over down. there. By your door, by your There's swarms in the city now. I think I'd be able to get something more out of it. Oh, this, here, this is Eustace. You used Let's to talk to Eustace. Corpse collector. Corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Uh, he'd be checking for purses, huh? Infected puppies are easy to make. <laughs> you just need the stuff to make a regular puppy, and people regularly infect you with this pink wart on your neck. You can either pop or drain to make the puppy. Lovely. You ought to be checking that out. You search Fabian's body? Whoa. I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses, 
And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. <laughs> uh, let's do this. What was in his pockets? Tell me. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Oh my. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Now. You're doing better, man. Trying to get back in the swing of things. Working out what kind of schedule I can keep with my new work schedule. Want to get used to Ark again before Genesis. Would like to be able to stream a bit, too. I would love to watch some of your streams. I was, I've been watching uh, Serious Creeper. Uh, he's been playing The Last of Us. So I'm about four or five episodes into that. But I was wondering if you were going to do a playthrough of The Last of Us before you do The Last of Us 2. Are you going to just jump straight into 2 when it comes out? I wish we had a better clue of when Genesis is going to come out. I'm afraid they're just going to pop it on us one of these days. I've been following Cedric a little bit, and he uh, it says they want to be able to be sure of a date before they give a date, which I respect, but it's a little hard to plan for when they won't give you any idea. I mean, it could be deep in the next year. It could be tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows when that's happening. It's a pretty gross looking wart, to be fair, but I'm glad the puppy didn't come out too ugly. <laughs> we have a number of different conversations going on here, don't we? Um, all right, so now we got to investigate the alley and where Priscilla was and where the woodcarver was, which was not necessarily an alley. All right, let's figure out where we're going. Both of them are not too far from each other, so we'll just kind of Head this way. Hey, piggy piggy. Let's all just meet in Red Dead Redemption. I'm sure we'd have a blast. Like I said, I gotta do some single player first. 